When should a decision be made to euthanize a pet? This is a question I get asked a lot because it's, it's a very gut-wrenching kind of question for my clients to be going through. And I recommend looking at quality of life issues. Is the pet eating, sleeping, peeing, pooping? Is there whining, pacing, panting? Those are all indications that the animal's in pain. I also rely on my veterinarians and I say, if this was your pet, is it time? Would you euthanize them? I've never gotten a no. I've never gotten a no, okay? Um, I see a lot of people going through your heroic measures like, you know, doing bags and bags of fluids into the animals on a daily basis and the needles are very painful to them and if they had a choice, they would rather check out and then go find a new body and come back. So number one, rely on your veterinarians. They're a great source when trying to make that decision and, and you, you just have to be a little bit careful because uh, veterinarians don't get paid for taking care of dead animals. They only get paid for taking care of live ones. So while they might be enthusiastic about doing all kinds of heroic measures, sometimes it's not in the pet's best interest and really not what the pet would want. If they've lived a good long life or they have some sort of serious illness like, you know, a cancer or lymphoma or something and none of the treatments are working, and look at the quality of life issues on that pet and make the decision accordingly. And there's a, another little blurb that I've done about what happens to them when they're euthanized and it's an incredible experience for them. It just is terrible for us.